Hi, everybody. This is Father Bill from Holy Trinity Catholic Church, and this is your Friday Reflection. And a brief one at that, I'm in our daily Mass Chapel. And this is a place where anybody that uh, wants to offer some prayers and be in the blessed presence of the Blessed Sacrament can come. Uh, we have the Blessed Sacrament right here. So you can come as a parishioner. And uh, the, of course, the space is locked and you have to get a combination. But that allows you to be able to come here 24 hours, seven days a week. And it's quite a blessing to have this as an opportunity for us as Christians and particularly as Catholic Christians to be present in a mystical way to our Savior. In this chapel, if you are, if you're not sat in here, uh, we used to have daily mass here. And I, I guess a wonderful thing is while well, this sits, seats almost 70, maybe 60 people, um, during COVID, this was the place that we had mass. And I remember watching Father Dave and Father Hans offer mass here and, uh, Father Tony then later following him. But during COVID, this is the only place they could have mass. And so what quite a beautiful and intimate space to be at. And I want to encourage you to consider coming, spend some time with the Lord. Also, uh, since the COVID has kind of diminished, we've, well, actually, as soon as we were able to move into the church, the COVID regulations were such that we couldn't put many people in the chapel and it wouldn't be a very comfortable space for people. And that's a lot of that's changed now. So uh, this now becomes a place also that's an overflow for mass, but daily mass is uh, now we have so many people coming to daily mass, we can't fit in the chapel, at least not comfortably. So we hit 100, 150 people or maybe even more. And during Lent, this has been a wonderful time on Fridays, especially for people to come. Uh, and I wanna encourage you, there's just a few more weeks left to consider uh, spending some time either before the Blessed Sacrament as you prepare or come to daily mass. It's a wonderful way to just uh, get a, a uh, uh, a spiritual charge, you could say, uh, the grace of God, the power of God from the, receiving the Blessed Sacrament, from also receiving his word proclaimed. It's just a wonderful, uh, awesome gift that we have. And I want to encourage you to take advantage of that if you have not yet already. Uh, if you need a, an ac uh, access to get into the chapel during off hours, I encourage you to go to our office, talk to Erica or someone there in the office, and they can give you the code to be able to get in to uh, spend some time with our Lord. So that's about all I want to share this day. And I hope that uh, this Lent continues to be something that's fruitful for you. And I want to give you an opportunity to find a place that's quiet, where you can pray and be especially with our Lord Jesus in the Eucharist. God bless you all. Bye-bye.